Hello to all you bike fans tuning in. Today's Moto2 race is being held in the rolling hills of Tuscany, where the Italian Grand Prix is about to start. The weather is fine and the temperature is perfect for racing. So we're just waiting to find out which riders have opted for hard tyres and which have gone for the soft. Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to MotoGP7 for this Moto2 race here at the Mugello circuit for what is a recreation of the 2018 Italian Grand Prix. So far today, we've had a pretty rough start in Moto3. We qualified on the pole by a good 7 tenths, but unfortunately it all came unstuck on the first couple of laps where we dropped all the way down to 22nd. We managed to get all the way back up to, uh, I think it was 5th, and then going to try and grab third on the last corner we unfortunately put the bike down and finished eighth in the end but anyway moving on to moto 2 we have also had a pretty rough start to this weekend in moto 2 as well we qualified all the way down in i think it was 16th or 14th but i just couldn't get one decent lap in I, i'm consistently sort of around half a second to a second off the pace but hopefully that consistency can move us up through the field during the race so not much else to talk about just going to jump straight into today's race now once again if you are tuning in for the first time I do use a full 2018 mod hence why it says MotoGP uh, 18 on the floor there so we've got all the new riders and liveries for the new season this is actually going to be my last race on MotoGP 17 as the MotoGP 18 game is released I think in about two weeks or so from now so we will have a full 2018 game when that is released soon so hopefully we can make it a good last race in Moto2 here on MotoGP 17 and get somewhere near the front. It's not going to be easy as we've already struggled this year on the Moto2 bike or Calyx bike as I should say. So let's make it a good final race hopefully. The Grand Prix about to start any moment now here at the Mugello circuit. It's one of the most technical and spectacular tracks on the whole calendar. Alrighty, here we go. It's a long run into turn one. The highest speed of any track that you'll reach in the entire MotoGP 17 or MotoGP calendar in, in general. Decent start. Just going to survive turn one. It's been a successful first lap so far. Oh, I hope I didn't just jinx myself. I think there was someone pushing me wide. Oh god. Our teammate done that once or twice this year already, unfortunately. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Alex. Get it together. Ah. Come on. So the tyre wear around here is not too bad. I've actually gone with the soft front option tyre, which is the first time we've used that. Uh, compound attire this year. Oh, I hate this corner. Oh, don't die. But I did stick with the medium hard, uh, sorry, medium rear tire because I cannot, I cannot be bothered saving that soft rear until the end of the race. I just blasted on the medium instead. Oh, come on. Brake testing me in the middle of the corner. No, just these AI are so slow and they, they run such a retarded line through these corners. I wish they'd sort of... I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great. I just think it's something that they can work on at Milestone. God, it's so fast going into Turn 1. I don't know how these guys have the balls to do that sort of speed. I think it's like 350 kilometers an hour or something ridiculous on a Ducati in a draft that they reach in Turn 1. can reach in turn one, I should say. It's 
So 11 laps is the dist. That is the distance. It's around. Oh jeez, they really do bobble in the middle of that corner, catch them out every time. Oh no, oh my god. God, I freaking hate the curbs on this game. They literally like they're like jumps. They're not even ripple strips. Like you can't you can like cannot touch them at all. Or else you will die, as we almost did just then. That A yeah, A gets it behind us, lows in front of us. Side. I decided to avoid the inside and get bubbled again by them. It seemed to work better then. Didn't die that time. Sure. <laughs> nice. All right, come on. Get away. See a little pack forming there. We want to stay out of that and just move forward. Well, we're up into top fives. So it's been a good first couple of laps. Not even halfway there yet, so we've got a long way to go. Oh, God. Why didn't I do what I did last lap? Around the outside. Oh, big dive bomb. I'm gonna park it in front of me, mate. I'm gonna get a wheel up the ass. Oh, that's a big move. That's a very big move. I knew that was gonna fucking happen. I knew that was gonna happen. God damn it. Once again, we're on another comeback in Moto2. Fuck it, just... Oh my god, what? Well, after that one, we have too much damage, and unfortunately, that's another retirement in Moto2 this year. I don't know what is wrong with me in this category, but I just keep somehow screwing up, and I just... I just don't understand, man. I am so confused as to what is actually going on. I mean, we had an awesome first four laps, 
and then unfortunately went underneath that guy uh, I can't remember who it was but I think it may have been Binder actually anyway the point was is that we just I uh, just I don't know I'm so confused right now I just cannot get anything to go on this in this category this Calyx bike we we had some decent race pace today I think leader did a 52-0 we did a oh it's not going to count our time because we didn't finish but I felt like we had decent pace we were definitely moving towards the front as to whether we would have actually got to the lead I'm not sure but I don't know I think I think there was a little bit of contact when we went underneath that guy which is what made the front end go out from underneath us for some reason on MotoGP on the MotoGP games it's like usually in real life if you have someone go under like to overtake some someone and sort of push up in the middle of the corner and sort of like door them as we call it in motorsport or in in sort of four-wheel racing the usually in in the motorbike world the the rider on the outside would get put on his ass or low side as a result of the contact of on moto gp games for some reason it's the guy on the inside that has the front fold underneath them um so unfortunately that meant that we moved back and then i i don't know i went to try and take the line but i got a little bit too much curb there and it just frick, flicked the front end from underneath us and uh bike went catapulting into the wall and that was the end of the Italian Grand Prix here for Moto2 so not how we wanted to end it I do apologize guys it was a pretty awful race in the end I mean it was a fun first couple of laps moving through the field but one simple mistake and that's that's it it's all over so stay tuned as we move on to MotoGP hopefully we can get some luck in that category in that category because we've had shit luck in Moto3 and Moto2 today so just praying that we can get some decent result out of that because this has just been an awful Italian Grand Prix so far. Alright guys, until next time, I'll catch you later.